Hi, this is Evan from AppFire, and today I'll be giving you a brief overview of Jira Integration Plus, our enterprise two-way integration between Slack and Jira. As you'll see, our integration allows you to change the way you work with next-level capabilities. It saves your team's time and limits context switching by preventing them from switching between applications. The two-way nature of our app allows you to make changes in Jira without ever leaving Slack, saving time for all your teams every day. I'll be walking you through a brief example of how our team uses Integration Plus to enhance our workflows. The first thing you want to do when using Integration Plus is simply invite it to a channel. When it joins the channel, it immediately gives us channel configuration information but it also gives a simple button to create a new issue. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as I select a project and an issue type, I'll be presented with the Jira issue screen exactly as I see it in Jira. Jira Integration Plus respects our Jira permissions and presents everything that we have access to in Jira right here in Slack. So I can simply enter a summary add a description, and update any other fields that I'd like before submitting the issue. Now I'm presented with a detailed view of a lot of information about the issue. But I'm going to close out of this so I can show you another feature of Jira Integration Plus that our team uses. This Incident Alerts channel is configured to post every new incident that is created so I can see vulnerability 27, this new security alert, and I can simply click on view to be presented the same information. So I can assign this issue to myself, transition it to in review, and then once I've taken some time to research the issue, I can come back here and add a comment. Jira Integration Plus allows me to create a dedicated Slack channel so that our teams can swarm around an issue. As soon as I click Create Discussion, I'm presented with a few options. First, it asks me which users I want to invite. I can invite the assignee, the reporter, or anyone who's currently watching the issue. Then it gives me a few additional options about which direction we want issue data to sync and whether we want the channel to be archived once a resolution is set. I'm going to leave all the defaults and click Submit. And now you'll see that Create Discussion button has changed to Join Discussion. So the first thing that it does in this new channel is post information about the issue along with that View Issue button so anyone who joins the channel is able to view information about the issue. Now that I've invited Nick, he can simply click on View Issue and get up to speed. But I also remember that some engineers were talking about a very similar issue. So if I come into ngRandom, I can find the thread where they were chatting. And I can see here that one of the engineers has actually identified how to fix the issue. So I'm just going to pop up to the top message in this thread and click on the camera emoji. And that's going to cause Jira Integration Plus to go into capture mode. Now this is a great feature if you're chatting about something in Slack and you later realize that it should be a Jira issue you can create a new issue without having to copy and paste everything into it. In this case, I'm simply going to add to the existing issue and I'm going to select that new vulnerability that was just created. And you'll see that the contents of this thread were added to that issue. So if I pop over to the Jira channel that we recently created, you'll see that that action of adding the, those thread contents is already updated here in this channel. If I scroll up, view the issue, and choose to open it in Jira, now your teams working in Jira can already see everything that happened in Slack. The team then might add a comment here in Jira, and as soon as they click Save, that information will be posted in the Slack channel so that folks on both sides can stay up to date. As you can see, this allows your teams to work wherever they are comfortable while staying updated about everything that's happening in both Slack and Jira. 
but let me show you a little bit more about how Jira Integration Plus can help me personally. On the Slack home screen for Jira Integration Plus, I see every issue that's assigned to me. I'm also able to change this so that it shows issues reported by me or any JQL filter that I'd like. If I scroll down and click on any of these issues, I can view more information and take action just as I showed you previously. But the app also sends me notifications that I've configured. So I can look into new issues that come in or issues that have been assigned to me or commented on. I can view them directly in the app and make any changes that I need to. Now I want to show you one more cool thing you can do with Jira Integration Plus. So let's say that you have a bug submission process, but you don't want users to have to log into Jira and remember the project and issue type. Well, I've created a report a bug workflow here. Using Slack workflows, Jira Integration Plus has a create issue workflow step that you can add to any Slack workflow. In this case, when I click on report a bug, it asks me two simple questions. So I can fill those out and I can pick an option. And as soon as I click submit, a JIRA issue is created and the workflow posts in the channel thanking me for submitting a bug, letting everyone know they can report a bug themselves. And then JIRA Integration Plus responds with some information about that issue that I just submitted. Finally, the last thing that I want to show you today is how this looks on mobile. So here's my mobile view. All I need to do is tap on JIRA Integration Plus and I'm presented all the same options that I see on desktop. I'm able to create or search for issues here or look through the issues that are assigned to me. I can tap view on any of these issues and interact with the issue directly from my mobile phone without having to navigate to JIRA from a desktop computer. I also receive notifications directly on this device. So JIRA Integration Plus lets me know about this new security vulnerability. I can click into it, add comments, assign it to myself, and generally work on the issue without being at my desktop. This further allows your team to work from where they are. So hopefully you've been able to see today how JIRA Integration Plus can save your team time by reducing context switching and meeting your team where they are, allowing everyone to work from anywhere. If you have any additional questions about JIRA Integration Plus, simply navigate to the Atlassian Marketplace and search for JIRA Integration Plus.